This video will demonstrate how to use KX Studio's Carla Git version as a WebRTC audio mixer. I already have a call established to another WebRTC uh, browser in the same house here on a computer. And from that computer, we have incoming audio here. And 128K stereo. I'm using Source Connect. And it's a, a very good system. It allows a free account up to three or four people. And I'm using 128K stereo. I'm using ALSA and Jack Audio. I'm using Cadence, which is the secret weapon here. So I set everything up first except what I want to send from a browser audio from a browser, say I wanted to send the other person a YouTube audio or some other web uh, browser based audio or I have just a generic uh, audio from a media media file that I want to play and if I play that it won't work it'll default to ALSA which is also what WebRTC is using so it's not going to work however if I click on the pulse audio after everything's done and I want it and the final thing that I do is click this pulse audio uh, bridge. We already have the ALSA to Jack Bridge and then when I click this Pulse Audio to Jack Bridge then everything else that I click on that has a default setting will default to Pulse Audio and then in Jack Audio this bridge I can use the Pulse Audio to send to the input and send out so I can hear it and the other person can hear it. Anyway I'll demonstrate that. Let me show you what I got here first and then I'll go over some of the details. On the left side, I'm using Jack Mixer for all the inputs. So I've got a USB sound card, which is the line in Jack here. We already have audio. This is what I'm sending to the other caller. This is what I'm sending. And um, he's coming in tomorrow. Do you want him? So I have a line in Jack there. I've got another Morse code. This is what I'm sending. So I'm sending that out. I've got Mix right here. And this is what that sounds like. The video and everything. I'm sending just, that out too. And these are just examples. I'm I'm just showing you all the different applications that you can use. Now, Aqualung is a, has Jack support, so it can go in here. And I use you set that up first in case I had a media file already fired up that I wanted to share with the other WebRTC person. I want to send that audio to. And here's what that audio sounds like. Cube is there? I mean, what what's the revenue model? And if I had a key, you know, a MIDI keyboard, you wanted to send some music, and with Source Connect, it's good enough you could do that. If you wanted to play a tune or something, and uh, you know, collaborate or something on a song, here's what uh, Zen sounds like. And I, from the desktop audio, from my computer now, since I'm using Pulse Audio, and here's my Pulse Audio. Let's go to the Firefox browser and we'll start this up again. So I'm, let's say I wanted to share this podcast about tech, tech news, tech news night. So as you see in Pulse Audio, it's already playing on the input and this is what it sounds like. So all that audio is going to the sender. And I also have, so I'm going to pause this. This is what browser audio. I'm using Firefox because the next browser after you click that Pulse Audio from Cadence, that Pulse Audio bridge here, the browser will automatically use Pulse Audio after that. As you can see here, that's what that audio stream is. So now I'm going to silence this and show you. So we'll take that and now we'll bring up the media player I have. So this is just a file that I clicked on. A um, couple things really quick right off the bat before we get into the podcast. And the podcast, it's going to be a potpourri of a lot of really cool things. So, I've so that's really nice. And it is a great workaround once you get everything set up. And you also wanted to share audio from your desktop that doesn't have particular jack support where, where like Aqualung, it'll just pop right in here or mix. 
a lot of the things just have a default ALSA sound system that they use and that's why this cadence using both of these plugins is pretty good pretty handy okay so let me go over a little bit of the setups here on the input side a lot of options and you just click on and add new in, input uh, channel and set all this up and you can control the volumes I'm using LUFS to determine how much volume is going out it gives you kind of an idea I can, if I also wanted to record everything the, the whole experience I'm, I could use M recorder which is right there it's a very handy VST plugin from Melda production and it works in the one thing good about Carla is it handles Windows VSTs VST2 VST3 and 32-bit or 64-bit if you download in your package manager all the git related stuff uh, and all the bridges that go with Carla this is an extremely handy and has a tremendous amount of ability to handle audio and mixing everything so I would just click record and it's good to go it'll record everything now I don't want to hear my microphone in my headphones so that's just going to the default jack to also and that's what this WebRTC is using right here the default and here's some of the options I have all sorts of loopbacks if you just click default then that it will use the ALSA to jack bridge for both playback and for its input audio so let's go over the inputs and I'll go over the outputs a little bit and then we'll go over a little more details on some of these apps here so I'm using uh, USB mic, I'm using Zeta A2J, let's see if I can find that there it is so I have, that's my Behringer actually right up here so that's how I'm incorporating this into the jack so using these commands it places it into the jack audio connection bay here so I can route route it and that's where I have my line input right here who's working on location shooting a, a so that's working very well so that gives me a line input say you had a record player tape deck CD player whatever you could use line input to send to the other person that you're talking to on WebRTC and I like to communicate Morse code and that's why I have da 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 which is just this application here mix I know there's a lot of mix aficionados and you're able to use that I just have one thing keyed up and that's right here five years uh, we're going to so find... I can hear it but it's also here and going out to the caller again you can adjust these volumes you probably want to get that Luff's volume meter and set all these volumes up that's why this is nice too so that they they're all about the same Okay, so that's mix. Aqualung is right here. I'm depressed. And I, I understand, Bobby. I, I get what you're saying. I, I yeah, find here's it. The input. Let me... Man, I just want. So the input I controls. Think when the artist make makes money. Everybody makes money. Just that I don't want this. USB mic. It's right here, and you can, if you talk really loud, you see it can, it'll peg there a little bit. So that gives you a basic idea. We've got the synthesizer. So that would, that could be a lot of fun if you were in conversation or on a web bar TC call, and you were both musicians and wanted to share uh, some ideas musical ideas and again this is my desktop audio here whether it's the browser from the Firefox you worry, I'm Sarah Lane, and let's get or from the media player 
been looking forward to, to some of the stuff. So that's very handy. There's uh, often a lot of times you find something cool and you want to share it. This gives you an option to do that using WebRTC. And the two native applications, the two native plugins, the ALSA to Jack and the Pulse Audio to Jack. So you can use them both in Carla here. Now for the outputs, this is just what I want to hear. So I don't want the caller hearing themselves. So the, the WebRTC audio is coming in to the ALSA to Jack plugin. And it's going to WebRTC here. And I'm just using the mains out so I can control what I'm hearing. So WebRTC. So I can control the input. The line input I can control. Consider how, how, much how loud I want to hear all the things I'm sending. Stories, I mean, you... The only thing I don't want to hear is my microphone, so that's why you don't see that right here. Once you've adjusted your microphone, you shouldn't have to worry about hearing it, and it might have a slight delay to it anyway. And this is all explanatory, self-explanatory here in the mix. I, I wrote this. Aqualung. Represent That's just, this is just how loud I want to hear it be people that while I'm sharing it with say, my other I'd WebRTC like to participant. Makes a lot of money. The Zen, the, the synthesizer, and of course the desktop audio. So that's basically the mixing here. The Carla Git version is the one to use, and here's all the plugins. If you get all the plugins, it comes with KX Studio. There's just a ton of them. And I also, and what's really nice is it also, if you have the paths, it also lets you use VST from Windows, which I have, and if you're using Wine and Wine ASIO, got both 32 and 64 bit. And VST3 and these also work and you know just click on here and hit refresh and it'll find them as long as you have it clicked here so as you see here I've got 64 32 native Linux and for Windows just an excellent application uh, KX Studio has come up with with this Carla and I think that's just about it the main thing I wanted to uh, show you was how versatile and how much ability Carla has to perform audio mixing to send and receive on a WebRTC call and many other types of audio situations and this particular Source Connect is an excellent uh, WebRTC application. I think it only works with Chrome at the time being. I think it allows up to 512 stereo, 256 mono uh, on the paid versions. Eventually when this comes out of beta they'll still let you have I think up to 128 for free. We'll, we'll see about that. I'm sure it won't be too much longer before we find that out. But this is just an excellent application. Easy to uh, sign up with them. Then you, you can have uh, up to three or four other participants. Our total of I think a total of five right now is what I'm able to have. And that may change when, once the beta uh, goes into a standard. Anyway, thanks for watching and give this a try. There'll be some download links to uh, advise you on how to find out more information about KX Studios Carla. Thanks for watching.